All right, well, welcome to the dungeon. I am in a laundry room, and uh, the reason for doing that is that it is quite bright. Uh, so you can see that I have big bright fluorescent lights over me. What I'm going to do uh, in this room is I'm going to test my robot uh, so, and see if it can locate a red VEX GameCube uh, using the vision sensor. So, uh, as far as my setup goes, I have my uh, V5 Clawbot, my red GameCube, and then to the right here I have a laptop computer. And what I'm doing here is I'm moving interchangeably between the wireless download. So you'll recall that uh, when the V5 controller is connected to Robot Mesh Studio, we can wirelessly transfer uh, programs uh, to the robot. And then what I'm finding is that if my program doesn't work exactly the way I want it to, then what I'm doing here is I'm removing this uh, USB, micro USB A uh, cable and putting it into the top of the vision sensor here. So, uh, and then what I will do at that point is I'll just reconfigure the vision sensor, make sure it can see the, the signature that I've set up for the GameCube. So again, the way this looks is right now I'm in the controller. If I'm not happy with the results, then what I'll do next is I'll find the uh, uh, vision sensor here and let's bend this back a little bit so we can see I'll plug this into the vision sensor so let's take a second while I do this it's always a little tricky to try filming a video and plugging in this cable but eventually I'll get it Okay, so there we go. So now let's just say that I'm not happy with the vision sensor's ability to find the GameCube. And what I've done here is I've um, connected the cable to the computer. So here now I can go find my vision sensor. Uh, so you can see it's here on port nine. Click on configure vision sensor and we can see what this vision sensor is seeing. So it's gonna take a second. Right now the camera is looking up. So that's not exactly what I want. So let's have this facing down so that's looking towards the claw. You can see now my view's changed a little bit. And as I rotate the robot and move it around, reorient it. What I wanna do is I wanna position the camera in such a way that I can see my cube. And now we can see here that it's finding the red cube, which I've set up as a signature here. And so I'm happy that the vision sensor is finding the GameCube. I'm gonna disconnect this cable. So what I'll do here is I am just gonna momentarily close out of here. I have my program. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the uh, cable out. I'm gonna take the robot here and I'm gonna put it in such a way that the robot is not facing the cube. So at least initially what will happen here is we're going to uh, uh, take a, a snapshot here of the red cube. And if it finds the, the uh, cube or at least one instance of it, then it's gonna try and align with it. If it doesn't uh, find, whoops, if it do, whoops, let's do that back again. We'll just move that later. <laughs> um, if it doesn't find the cube, then what it's going to do is it's going to turn left. And so this is a little tricky because, again, I'm trying to do this with the phone. So we can see the else condition here is that it's going to turn left. Okay, so let's give this a try. I'm just going to correct my code here. And uh, again, if you're not sure what the sample code for this looks like, take a look at the next slide uh, where I have a screenshot of this program. Okay, so uh, what I've done here, you can see, is I've specified a very uh, wide range of values that I'll consider uh, for the robot being aligned. So you'll recall that, uh, roughly speaking, the x-axis of the vision sensor's field of view, its center point is at 158 pixels. Uh, so what I'm saying here is, uh, have the vision sensor take a picture. If it finds a red cube signature that I've set, and it's to the left, of a 148 pixels, so 10 pixels or, uh, to the left, 
then what we're going to do is that means our cube is to the left, so the robot's going to turn left. And the other way around is that if the uh, cube is detected to be at 168 pixels or greater, the cube is going to be to the right of that center uh, line on the x-axis. So what's going to mean is that our robot's going to have to turn right. If the robot is uh, between 148 and 168 pixels, that's kind of our uh, just right uh, sweet spot. Uh, so what we will say here is that the robot's aligned. We'll set a variable that's called align to true, which is essentially going to break this loop, and then the robot's going to break. If there's nothing found, then what's going to happen here is the uh, robot's just going to keep spinning left until eventually it sees something. So you can see here that the range of values that I've set as my tolerance for being aligned is, uh, is quite wide. If I change these values, so it's just going to take a second here, I'm going to change this to less than 158 and greater than 158. So the sensor has to line right up on 158, which is going to be very difficult for it to do. Let's run this program and see what happens.